Hey, hey, hey. G'day, gorgeous people, gorgeous humans, star seeds, light workers, all of those wonderful things. How are you? Thank you very much for tuning into my channel. And today's reading is all about what that fire is that's rising up within you. So these are timeless readings. So depending on where you're at right here, right now, this is exactly the right time you need to hear this message. The thing is in life is that we really hold back from allowing ourselves to fully be present, to fully show up. And when we do that, we like everything's energy, right? So if we're not letting ourselves flow, we can become very stagnant, very stuck. And in that energy that should be coming up and out goes internal, things can manifest uh, physically like, you know, um, frustrations and tension. And, and with that, we can then follow through and get things like, you know, if we've got too much high um, anger or frustration, we're not venting, it can then become high blood pressure, it can become physical ailments um, and all those type of physical things and dis ease so the thing is the the beauty here is if we can create that we can then rectify it we're very powerful and our bodies have this innate wisdom of healing the thing is we've got to get our mindset right and when we get our mindset right our body will then catch up and start working the magic of healing so in order for us to do that, the first thing is we need to visualize what it is that we want to create, what we want to become. And then we need to feel into that as if it's our reality. Regardless how far away we are of that dream, we have to then get our vibration and our emotion into already having it. And because everything's energy, energetically, we believe and live like we already have it. For instance, one day I will be a billionaire. In order for me to do that, I need to start behaving like it. I need to start realizing that me and money are great friends. I need to realize that it's okay and safe to donate money. All these type of belief systems need to shift in my mind. I don't have to hold tightly to it. Just the same as health. We need to believe that we are healthy um, and act as if we are. You know, choose the right food, sleep the right hours, drink plenty of water, you know, move our body uh, as much as we can and start acting like we are the abundance, the epitome of health. So these are all examples. And when we get into that energy, the universe then matches that energy, that vibration, that frequency, and then that starts becoming our reality right? Our bodies catch up. But first we need to believe it and believe, behave like it, like it's in the now. All right. So that's a general reading for all of us. It's, it's, it's almost common knowledge. And if it's not, make it common, share it, be it, become it. Because there's these fires that are within us. And if we don't let it come to fruition and come out of us, it will go internal and start reaping shit. Reaping shit, is that even a word? I don't know, but all I know is I'm getting hot now talking about all of this because the passion and the desires are coming up inside me because my purpose is to empower others, to get everybody on their right path because when we are doing what we're designed to do in our life, that's when nothing seems too hard. You know, it's when you answer things like questions when people say to you, um, you know, uh, do this, for example, and you look at it, you could say, it's impossible, that's not going to work. Or you can say, challenge accepted. Okay, how am I going to make this happen? So it's all about a perception. It's, it's, it's how we look at things. Anything is possible. Anything is possible. Okay, so let's just start shifting our belief system and seeing what that fire is that's coming up inside us. What is driving us? What needs to be ignited? I already feel like it's ignited, but I, I want to put some um, oxygen to those flames, you know. Is that right? Oxygen to the flames and let it burn. Let's see what's going on. So if you haven't already, please choose a flame, one, two or three, and let's see what spirit is going to share with us. What is actually burning within you? What What's going on? What needs to be, you know, what flame needs to be fanned so that it ignites into something new for you? So let's get to it. And don't forget to like, subscribe, share and all those algorithm things. 
because Facebook, uh, excuse me, YouTube has something like, I think it's like, what is it? Over, I don't know the numbers. I, it's something like over a thousand minutes per second uploaded to YouTube and we can get lost in the sea of our um, YouTube algorithms. So please, please comment, like, subscribe to help this message get to as many people as possible because it's time that we let our passions ignite and get, you know, have a look at what's going on in our world and, and get back on track. So let's get to it. number one let's see what that fire is is coming up coming up within you and see what's going on for you beautiful souls all right and the card we get is this one now the this deck is the angel wisdom tarot by radley valentine um so this one says Trustworthy, honourable, devoted, cautious, someone you can completely trust, a situation that is safe, a solid romantic relationship, hidden but well-intentioned emotions, a charitable benefactor, seeing a counsellor. So a lot of that information it isn't all standing out to me. So some of these cards have a lot of information and they are, this is a general reading, but what really stands out to me here is the cautious side of things and, and there's a bit of a trust um not a trust issue so to speak but there's this trust uh, there's a block here okay there's a block where you finding it difficult to trust others so the real thing here is uh trust now because of these trust opportunities let's say you've allowed situations and opportunities to surpass you in the past so you've had opportunities here and you've just gone no thank you no thank you due to the fact that you are using your past as a catalyst for your future um, and no longer that is what is necessary use it to help you set boundaries and see red flags but you're using it as almost an opportunity for you to go no thank you no deal <laughs> now it's time here that there's this fire inside you that you want to co-create now this could be with relationships this could be partnerships this could be um that you know you, you you're ready to um have children maybe even adopt children like there's there's lots of different um opportunities here but this is not about you this is about you being in a partnership of some description and you've been holding back for so long and now it's time to allow yourself to let that fire literally surge surge up and out because in that energy you're going to be able to uh trust where you've been as a guide of what you know about what to avoid okay so what you've been doing here is allowing yourself to be in the bit of a victim mentality of like no that's happened to me it's going to happen again where the whole truth here of the matter is is that it's happened to you to help you be resilient and stronger and much more wise so that when you keep moving forward you're now going to know what to avoid and when to pull back okay it's actually giving you a big tool belt of skills and you're going to have to trust yourself now as you step forward because there is a partnership moving in now you may very well be in it uh, but you're not giving it your all because you're you've got this fear cloud over you now it's time to like shift that cloud up ask it to lift and and move that fear away from you because this co-creation is happening um regardless 
but it's now up to you to take more control, okay? So if this is a relationship matter, it's now time for you to speak up about what you're, what you're really wanting out of this and asking the big questions. Now, I tell my story purely because I know that it will resonate with um, some of you, remembering this is a general reading, but I was in a situation in my mid-30s where I then met my, well, not met, but... Um, got into a relationship with my now husband and I would say to him, I remember one day I said to him, is it possible, is it um, an option that we will be having children? Because that time in my life, I wanted children and that was it. If he had said no, I was going to walk away, even though I absolutely desperately loved him. Now, he said to me, well, it's an option and that was enough for me because you know what? Life happens, shit happens. And if we were on separate pages, I could not have pursued that relationship purely because I knew it was my true purpose to have children and become a mother. Now, that that will relate to some of you because it's now time to actually ask the question and be honest to yourself because if you're in a relationship where you know that both of you are on different paths and you're going, you know, you really truly want you know, perhaps your your partner isn't into marriage, but you know you want to get married and you think, well, I'll change them. They'll get there. The thing is, you're going to have to have these big truth conversations where you're going to go, is it an option? Is it an option? If that's a dead set, no, it's time to walk. It's time to step back. And you know what? They no doubt will follow you um, and realize what they've lost because you are quite the package you are an absolute gem and it's time for you to let that passion up and out because it's all about connection and becoming a partnership now if this is work related it's time that if you haven't already written some sort of partnership contract it needs to happen now this partnership also at the start looked something different. Now time has happened and different things have, have occurred. It's now time to readdress that partnership, whether it also be a will. I feel like documentation needs to be set. Boundaries need to be set in this reading for fire number one, for flame number one, because it's time that you set your boundaries moving forward because this relationship, this connection is happening. But you can't be going along just for the ride. You need to start setting boundaries and, and actually asking for what it is that you truly desire. I've got some actual cards here. I just want to pull another one to get a bit more information and be a bit more clear on this because this is happening. So it's time for you to really grasp it, uh, buckle up, but call your shots. It needs to be a 50-50 here because it feels very balanced with the um, energy here and it's time to just sort of reset, get back on board and keep moving forward. I don't feel like you'll be walking away from this partnership, but that needs to be an option that you will if you don't get what you truly desire, but you need to let yourself know what that is um, and be honest with yourself. And you know what? You get the success card anyway. So regardless if you keep moving forward or if you walk away from this situation, I don't feel like walking away is an option, but it needs to be, it needs to be an option. And the thing is, sometimes we need to realise what we're going to lose and say, you know, if at all, if, if I lose this, I lose it, but I need to be true to myself. And the real drive and the passion that's coming up here for you is self truth boundaries and asking for truly what you desire but the thing is it's it's going to be successful anyway it's going to be exactly what you truly want now you need to get real you need to sit down and write everything you want out of this partnership this this co creation um what whatever this actually is but it is you and another party i certainly get that and that is what needs to be going on with the flame that you're that's burning here let it flow let it let it just really you know i want to sort of see it like burst into fireworks it's absolutely divine but if you don't have the boundaries and you sit back and just go along for the ride it won't take off the way it's meant to because this is um you know there is a real divine purpose here it's a great con um, connection but there's a few tweaks that need to be made and that's where you come in you need to be really truthful for what you want what you truly desire ask for it but get clear with what you want know what the options may look like and be okay with all those options and then allow 
the um, other party to then um, have a little bit more direction and then you'll know what happens next through that but you can't go along for the ride this is this is something that you really need to take the driver's seat for your part and that is what is literally coming up the fire within you and it's a really exciting time i'd love to hear what this co-creation is and um you know what you've got uh spirit is on your side here it's a real exciting time for you so keep moving keep driving and that is your reading for flame number one all right flame number two flame number two this this reading is really exciting because i'm actually feeling very deeply um these passion the passion that's with you so flame number two there's a real excitement around around this one but i really feel like it goes up and then just stops at my head and it's not flowing so i don't know whether um there's some uh, headaches or migraines going with this one but there's certainly confusion so let's see why that is and what's really you know firing up within you all right and the card i get here is the dreamer the dreamer now it says a new start trust yourself push your fears aside and take a leap of faith now that's very cool now straight away when i hear that i get an itchy head it's very interesting i can't ignore anything um so there's this aspect to you where there's uh, I want to say that you've been just talking a lot, talking a lot with less action because you get all passionate within your heart space. You go and you voice it. You get to your third eye, you can see it, and then you get to your crown and it just sticks. Um, so there's a bit of, like I said, a bit of tension going on in the head area and it's a bit of confusion and and just... I don't know, like I, I want to sort of scratch my head and I'll say, I want to do all this magic stuff, but I don't know how to do it. Now, there's a catch here when we work with the universe. You start doing your part, the universe will match you. So if you uh, talk with no action, there won't be anything here where the universe will be able to match that. There'll be just more talk and less action, okay? And you'll be scratching your head. Now, because I'm, I'm not, I, I'm a little bit vague on what the fire is because there's no real plan and there's a lot of confusion. Now, I'm all about sharing your dreams and desires because when you voice it, it's like you're putting out an order to the universe, but... I feel like it keeps changing with this reading. And the thing is, and I've said this many times, is when you order a coffee at a cafe, you don't sit there going, oh, hang on a minute. No, 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 no. Change it to soy milk. Oh, no, no, no. Double strength. Oh, you know what? Make a decaf and, and you keep changing your order. It doesn't happen that way. You put your order out and you sit and you patiently wait. Now, the thing is with you, with this reading, and remembering this is a general reading, is that it feels like you're changing your order too many times. So that's where it comes up. It sounds great and exciting, but once it gets to the action part, you get too confused and you don't know exactly what to do, what action to take. I need to get, and, and the thing is, being a dreamer is amazing. Like, mate, I'm at Pisces. I'm, I'm the epitome of a dreamer. Um... <clears throat> But I've also got uh, uh, Aries rising uh, or sun sign in rising, which which means I'm action orientated too. So it'd be interesting to look at your birth chart, have a look at where your planets are sitting. Um, and when you get a bit of an understanding as to that, you know, up until now I've been going, oh, you're a Pisces, blah, blah, you're an Aries, blah, blah. But the thing is, it's not about what star sign you are. It's what's your ascending, what, what you know, what's your moon and all that, because that will really make an impact on your traits so that you can go a little less harsh on yourself because it feels as though this energy is you've got all these ideas but you're getting stuck so you're feeling a little bit like a failure but that is not necessarily the case at all and yet actions speak louder than words so we want to sort of pull back on the words out loud just for a minute just for a minute because when you start getting um uh, clear on what you actually want to truly desire and you write it down with clarity 
That's when the actions bit by bit to get to that goal will make all the difference. So the thing is within you, the fire is all about acceptance. You're just wanting to be accepted. You want to be appreciated. And the thing is, I feel like the acceptance and the appreciation isn't happening easily for you. And you can change that at a click of a fingers when you get clear. Now, it's almost like you can sit around, not sit around, but you can all almost like spend your day doing a million things that at the end of the day go, geez, I'm exhausted, I've been so busy. And you look around and go, but what have I done? And it's that sort of thing. So you're, you're not really planning and you're not really um, doing things effectively. Now, when you get clear on what that drive, that passion that goal is you're going to be able to sort of pull back and start putting steps in place um, and be a bit more clear. Um, okay, so we've got the purity card. Now, you're definitely a light worker. You're definitely an empath. You're definitely someone who feels other people's stuff. But be very careful what energy you give to situations that are not yours because you can get caught up in other people's bullshit very, very easily and quickly purely because you desire to be needed, to be wanted, um, to be appreciated. And the thing is you're looking outside of yourself and you're looking... Um, to situations that aren't serving your highest good. And what can happen here is, again, you can get so confused at the end of the day going, but I've done so much, I helped so-and-so and I helped so-and-so. But the thing is, these situations are a little bit confusing because these people aren't helping themselves. They're coming to you for your solutions. You're giving it to them, but they're not taking your advice. So you're still feeling messy there. So it's time now that you really pull back this beautiful energy that's burning inside you, get clear on what you truly desire. Because if you're able to find solutions for other people, then maybe it's time that you start doing that uh, for an income. You know, start realizing your worth. Because when you start purifying your thoughts and getting clear, you're going to be able to clean up your act, clean up your belongings, your home, your car, because everything external is a reflection of your internal. So, the, the you know, you've got this messiness going on inside you. So when you start cleaning up your, I feel like I'm talking to myself in this reading. <laughs> um, when you start clearing up the physical objects around you, you're going to feel much more in control. When you sit down and start writing clearly what you want to achieve over the next two months, six months, 12 months, five years, you're going to be able to start veering into the right direction for you. Because the thing is, you've got this desire to be needed, but you've got this desire to help others help themselves. But up until now, you've been enabling people rather than empowering them. I want you to sit with that for a moment, enabling people instead of empowering them. And this is something you've been doing subconsciously and so certainly not deliberate. But now that when you get that awakening and you realise, fuck yeah, I have. <laughs> Why the hell would I be helping that person when they're, I keep telling them the same thing, but they're doing something different. Well, when you steer that energy back to yourself and start realising that you're the one you want to help, people will then start mirroring what you're doing. For you to start really getting clear on what you want, people around you are going to start doing that for themselves. And you're going to realise that your true desire here is to get clear on what you need to do. You are a light worker. You are needed. You actually have a huge job ahead of you to help raise the frequency of the collective. Oh my Lord, what a job. But when we look at it that way, it gets too messy. It gets too big. Pull it back to just you. Because you, my beautiful person, are a beacon of light. And when it gets dark, remember you are the light within this darkness. You're the one that shines. You're the one that lifts people. So keep working on yourself because that really is going to help everybody around you. That drive, that flame, that fire within you is to be appreciated and needed. But right now you need to get clear and start empowering, lead by example. Because when you're there, people will absolutely go, thank God you're here. Because they're going to say, what would you do? And then you can say what you would do or what you've done, or they can actually just see it. And then you're going to start leading your tribe. So whether or not you're already doing this um, or about to do this, know that it's within you.
So keep working toward being your true divine self because in that you're going to help more people be appreciated. You'll be appreciated by, uh, by strangers. You may not get the recognition to you one-on-one, -on -one, but it will be there through the energy and that needs to be enough. You are absolutely fantastic. Lift yourself, get some fresh air, open the windows, clean under your bed. It's time to shift the shit because when you do that, it's gonna lift you to heights that you have never imagined in this lifetime. You are needed, keep going and I feel like saying drink water much more water okay purify detox breathe and move forward you beautiful soul you're needed and that is your reading for flame number two all right all right finally flame number three I'm really enjoying this energy because when we look at the energy that's you know right within us a lot of the time we can feel it, but then we push it back down, we push it back down. But you know what? Tuning into it and letting it up and out is very exciting. It's a very exciting time. Now, flame number three, straight away I get this energy of you being, you know, there's been times of late where you've actually felt quite unsafe, unsafe. But um, in this energy, I feel like things are shifting and straight away, Mm -hmm. negative thoughts negative thoughts manifesting into real challenges fears surrounding money reach out to others for assistant poor timing for becoming self-employed you've really felt unsafe and this talks about finances but i'm just talking about negative thoughts in general you've allowed yourself to get into a state of lack and the more we focus on that's where our energy flows and you've really put yourself through the ringer in the last few months and i'm here to say woohoo time to break that time to break that because your angels your spirit guides are coming close to say snap out of it clapping in your face is really rude isn't it but there you go and snap out of it and it's time that you lift this shit because enough's enough and if you were to see someone you loved acting like this you'd be like whoa slap 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 so spirit's here to slap you around because it's time to literally lift this shit out of your system and and the thing is, if you have a look at this card, you'll see the beautiful flowers that are blooming, but your head's been down. You're missing, you're missing the signs that you're completely supported and loved. There's a lot of healing going on. Let your angels in. I feel like you've had a big loss of late. Um, and know that that loss is something that's really shifted you into a place of appreciating what you already have. And that's a beautiful thing. You've always been appreciative. You're not someone who takes things for granted you never have been but there's been times that they've just taken 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 things from you and when I say they the universe it's like you feel like this lack of being you know oh why me in this spiral whereas now it's like okay you know what when you get to the bottom of the ball bottoms the only way is up and that's where you are now you just put your head up and you're going right let's do this and the fire within you is is a comeback the actual comeback to life now, I hear a motorbike going past right now, so I know the engines are switched on, right? Hear that? That's you. You're turning the engines back on. You may have run out of gas, but time to fill that tank and get back up. And that's exactly where you are. It's a really exciting time because whether or not you feel hands on you, I feel like I want to just put my hands on your head just to have a beautiful bit of a healing. You know I do distant healing as well. So, you know, online Reiki healings, they work just as good as being in person. So take that into account. And if it's not me, somebody else. Uh, my services are below. You can click on the link um, below in the, in the comments. But like I said, this could just purely be you just putting your hands on your head and just taking beautiful breaths and sitting in nature, putting your feet on the ground and really letting yourself come back into the body because right now is a pivotal time for you to shift and break the chains of being the victim. Never have you been the victim, but when we let ourselves get into that energy, it's very hard to get out. Now, all you need to do, my beautiful soul, is to breathe, to breathe and let the oxygen in. Let yourself start living again because you are at the point of re restarting your life from scratch. 
and it's beautiful because you're not back to the beginning you're back to a uh, fresh start having all those experiences and everything that you've been through kickstart you into being much more clever than you've ever been you are the wisest you've ever been and with the most experience so shit you are doing much better than you realize. Let's pull another card for you, beautiful. And you've got the transformation. Of course you do. So you're just coming out of this dark cocoon and you're spreading your wings. So whatever it is, it's like you're, this fire within you is about being renewed, reinventing yourself. Get to know who you've become because you are brand new. You're somebody who you're getting to know as well. Now, I feel like the innocence of children around you is very beneficial as well because you see in their eyes their innocence and their naivety and I want you to tap into that in yourself. Have a look at everything through fresh eyes because um, you are not defined by what you've been through. You are not your emotions. You are a pure divine being and you know what i want to pull another card because i keep going like i keep getting told keep going keep going and i know that's for you too keep going keep going lift lift and acceptance accept who you are accept what you've been through and you know a lot of the time when we look at what we've been through and what we've allowed people to do to us to treat us we feel like how dare they but my dad's always said whenever we point a finger at ourselves three fingers are pointing back at us so it's time for you to accept who you are accept what you've been through and accept what the role you played right because we only attract what we think we're worthy of so when we've been through things that have knocked us for a six there's an aspect of that where we've just gone bring it who cares just whatever you know do what you can do to me whatever you can't break me anymore and there's this defeat and that's all in your past because you're now at a time where you've just gone you know what i'm still here i'm fucking still here <laughs> Own the shit out of that. Own the shit out of that. Because this fire inside you is coming up now where you're like, I'm showing up and that's enough. Because it's at just this pivotal time of you with this clean slate, clean slate to make whatever happens next on your terms, your call. You can surrender and just say, universe, I'm here. It's time for me to really live this divine life of mine in this human existence, um, not in that low vibrational victim mentality that I once was. I'm now fresh, I'm new, I'm divine, and I'm educated. I'm very, very wise, and I'm going to breathe deeply, and I'm going to keep stepping forward. Your desire is to be alive. You are alive, you are well, you are guided, you are protected, you are safe, you are absolutely fantastic. This reading for flame number three is the most empowering energy that I've felt in a long time. It's like you're renewed, you're reborn, and it's time for you to keep moving forward. And I cannot wait to see what you do with this newfound energy. Don't let yourself get sucked into other people's stories. That's not you anymore. That's your old self. Let yourself keep moving forward, you beautiful, beautiful soul. And that is your reading for flame number three. Thank you so much for tuning in, my beautifuls. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, all those algorithm things. Comment below. Keep the conversation flowing. And please take a look at my services. If you feel like you need a coach along, you know, a 12-week spiritual journey, I'm the person for you because I can help you just keep moving. It doesn't. You don't have to be going through major things just to have someone in your corner. You know, it's just life happens. Um, I also have an online intuition course. All the details are below. Take care. Stay well. Be kind to others, but especially be kind to yourself. Peace out.